Polaris features two types of offline modes, remote offline and local offline. This video reviews how to use local offline. Local offline is used when staff are unable to connect to the Polaris server, like, for example, when there is an internet outage. Staff will access local offline differently than remote offline. Local offline is a separate application from the Polaris staff client that should be installed on each computer that performs checkout duties. On my computer, I have local offline labeled as offline. Your IT staff may have labeled it differently. To access, double click on the application icon. Enter your username in the username field and click the work offline checkbox. Click OK to finish logging on. Double check you are in offline mode by looking for the word offline next to your username in the title bar. Checking out. To check out to a patron, open the circulation menu and click check out. If this is a new offline session, make sure you open the tools menu and select options. We want to make sure checkout receipt is selected so a receipt will print for the patron and that the correct printer and driver is selected for your computer. So your printer and driver options will look different than mine. Click OK to get back to the checkout screen. To check out, scan or key in the patron's barcode in the patron barcode field. Be careful to enter in the barcode correctly. Polaris Offline will not be able to identify invalid patron barcodes. Once the barcode is scanned or keyed in, press enter on your keyboard. A window with patron blocks may appear. Library staff can select yes to continue checking out materials. Each library has a default offline loan period. If you want to give a due date other than the default, choose a due date using the special button. Type or scan the item's barcode in the item barcode field. Once an item is scanned, the due date cannot be modified. Once all the items have been checked out to the patron, place your cursor in the empty item barcode field and hit enter on your keyboard. This will complete the transaction for the current patron and prompt a checkout receipt to print. Logging off. Library staff should log off of Polaris Offline every two to three hours. When a staff member logs off, a file is created that contains all of the transactions during their session. Staff will later upload this file so the checkouts appear in the patron's record. It's good to log off every couple hours so that files are created regularly. This way, if the application crashes, you won't lose all of the transactions. To log off, select File from the toolbar and click Log Off. Click OK when prompted to verify. A file has been created. Now you can log back in by selecting File and clicking Log On. Enter your username, select Work Offline again, and click OK to log back on. At the end of the day, when you are all finished with Local Offline, open the File menu select log off, and then select exit to fully shut the application down. Staff should read through the using local offline handout to view more details and to read about registering patrons in local offline mode. The next video will show you how to upload local offline files. If you have any questions about local offline, email help at ccslib.org.